Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with some 49 and market papers and embellishments. Now this one is uh, art, what does this say? Art options. And then I also pulled out this Heidi Spot Wolf Pack grid paper. And this is the Spectrum Sherbet uh, embellishments. I'm going to be scrapbooking two photos. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I've got these papers and I gotta figure out what in the heck I am going to do with them because I have some florals, I have some beautiful colors, and it's just a matter of actually figuring out which layers go where and which uh, way I like the layers. So ultimately, I decide to have the purple cardstock as my bottom layer. So this is gonna be the base of the layout. And then I trim down this piece of paper right here, and then I also am going to gut it. Now, I don't usually gut my papers. The paper has to be pretty phenomenal for me to gut it. So I either have to have a phenomenal paper, or I want to use a little bit more of that paper. And that's what it is here. This is a great paper that I want to use um, some more of it. Um, so I am going to gut that paper. I've got that square now off to the side that I will be able to use on another layout and that makes my little heart happy. So now I've got a border around the foreground of the layout right here. And I'm going to take that grid paper and cut it down. Uh, but first I'm gonna put a little bit of gold splatter now, the reason why I put the splatter down here was because I was thinking I just wanted the splatter in the very background. Ultimately, I end up putting some splatter up uh, in the foreground as well. Um, which, you know, things like that happen, right? Like, not every time um, what you think you want in your head is actually going to happen. So I thought I just wanted the gold in the very background. It doesn't happen, the gold comes up in the foreground. So now um, I have matted my photographs and I am going to adhere them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat them as um, one cohesive unit here. And then here is where I trim down that grid paper, kind of graphy, gritty type paper. So it goes over here on the left-hand side, and this is going to be uh, kind of where, like, it, my, my page is going to kind of explode off of here. I don't know if explode is the right word, but it's, it's going to be based off of here. So as you can see, I had it some more gold mist because, you know, why not? Felt like it was the thing to do there. And now I am figuring out what I'm going to do across uh, the bottom here so that my photos have a resting place. So I have this sheet of scrap paper. I do end up roughing up the edges with a distress tool. This is the only thing uh, on the layout that I rough up. I don't uh, do this on any other uh, portion of my layout. And that is not normally something that happens. Usually if I rough one portion of a layout up, one little part, I'm roughing up other parts too. In this case, I did not. However, I am going to pop my uh, photographs up on some fun foam here. And it's always fun when you coordinate your fun foam, even though you're not going to see underneath of it, right? Um, so I've placed that down here uh, over top of my layers, and now it is time to add a little bit of decoration. So these are also 49 in market uh, products. However, they are from the Spectrum Sherbert collection. Um, have nothing to do with this collection other than they are all 49 and market. 
So you might be thinking, that's a little weird. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it's fine, right? Like, nobody, nobody is, is, like, pressuring, <laughs> nobody's pressuring me to do anything in any way. It is me doing whatever I want to do. Um, so if you are the kind of person that only scrapbooks in one collection, uh, this might be terrifying for you, even though it is the same brand, um, that grid paper is not. Um, or you might be going, wow, this is too much the same. You should have expanded more. So that is the beauty of scrapbooking and playing with all the papers is you can do whatever the heck your little heart desires. Nobody says you have to um, do something a certain way. And if they're telling you you have to do something a certain way, you tell them to pound sand and you do whatever you want. So I'm just looking for some more little bit of decorations. And um, I end up using Love This Most. It's not, I don't think it's truly that great of a grammatically you know, beautifully sounding phrase, uh, but it's going to work. So I put that up at the top and then I ultimately end up repeating that sentiment. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Whew. I actually fell asleep on the sofa and uh, I had to get woken up and I was like, oh, my voiceover. <laughs> so here we are. Um, I end up putting on uh, the title of I love this and because I do I love going to this place they have a like a sauna um, uh, oh like a kind of a whirlpool a cold plunge it's just so wonderful and relaxing to go to this place so anyway that is what is going on there um, I end up pulling out this gold word that says love. That works out perfectly um, because I've got the gold bits elsewhere as well. And then I'm like, you know what? This needs a little bit more. I was almost ready to call this done, finish off the title, and be like, we're good. But it just, I felt like it just needed a tiny little bit more. So I go into my border strips and I pull off this uh, green fringe and I place that down here uh, across the strip of paper. And then that's going to go down there and then I still feel like it needs more. Like I definitely feel like it isn't, um, it isn't pizzazzed enough. There isn't enough oomph. So after I do that, I pull out some washi tape. Now, I don't think this washi tape is supposed to do what it's doing. It is pulling off itself, so it kind of looks uh, like a distressed gold. I think it's supposed to be a, a straight gold washi. Um, but you guys know how washi acts and reacts. If, you know, you don't play with it for a while, it, it, does, it does naughty things. And it is definitely doing something naughty. Um, there is no like sticky or whatever. The, the, the gold color on the washi tape is on the front of the washi tape and stuck to the bottom of the washi tape. But it works out great for this layout. So after I pop that down there, I'm going to finally finish out the title. I grab some October afternoon uh, tile stickers and just write, uh, I love this. So that, uh, go ahead and uh, wraps that up. Now that was Alex throwing down a little bit of a burrito for me to try. Um, and then he came and took it and said, don't eat it, it's not good. <laughs> so apparently that little bit of burrito off to the side was not good, so we didn't eat it. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.